Alright, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sotko here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to show you guys how to mine WebChain with your GPU. Uh, so I'd like to point out first and foremost, if you have not watched my previous video on WebChain, this will be the first link in the description below. This video teaches you how to go to their website, get their uh, wallet, um, get the CPU miner, and how to connect to pools, etc. So if you haven't seen that, you're going to need to watch that so you can CPU mine first, because CPU mining with this coin is actually pretty good. Now, GPU mining is also pretty good because it supplements your CPU mining, and if not, gives you a lot more coins than just your CPU. Um, and that's what we're going to be doing today. So again, if you haven't watched it, go back and check out that and get the wallet and stuff like that. Get it all set up before you start GPU mining because you're going to need a wallet. Um, I would like to, to say that this coin has gone up a lot in price in a very short period of time. As you can see, it used to, when I started mining, it was a four tenths of a cent and now it's over a penny. Uh, and it mines very quickly. So with this and with uh, even just a few GPUs, you can mine a couple hundred of these a day, just if you just leave it 24 seven, um, which if you do the math, that's not a lot of money yet. But if this coin went to 10 cents, 50 cents, a dollar, that's gonna be incredible profits. Uh, so uh, for some people, you might just want to keep mining your current uh, crypto that whatever whatever is giving you the most profitability and then just using that crypto to buy web chain. And for others, you might enjoy just mining this and watching the coins just rain in because they do mine very, very quickly. Um, so this is the mining pool. This will be in the link below, but we're not going to touch this just yet. Uh, this link will be in the description below as well. And this is where you get the software. So uh, this is a third party software. So in my previous video, I showed you how to get the actual developers CPU mining software. So they do have a CPU mining software here, but uh, we're talking about GPUs today. So if you have AMD, you're gonna wanna grab these. And if you have uh, Nvidia, you're gonna wanna grab these. Now, let me show you how I did this uh, just to, and this is how I'm gonna do the tutorial. So this link will be in the description below and this is just the NVIDIA miners on GitHub. Uh, so I use NVIDIA GPUs, although AMD GPUs are sometimes more efficient and less costly, but uh, either way, uh, I have NVIDIA GPUs. So I'm gonna show you how, how to do this with NVIDIA, uh, but uh, with AMD, it's gonna be fairly similar. So uh, what I did, um, is scroll down a little bit here. You can see 1.2 and then there's this open source, the Miner V1. So now it is open source. Uh, this used to be a closed source software. Um, so I went all the way down uh, to here. As you can see, WebChain Miner Win X64 Ubuntu. Um, and what you need to get is this file here, the config, the lib xm rig, the loud webchain.exe, and the run dot bat so you need all four of these uh, so grab run me dot bat loud web chain dot exe lib and config and throw them all in a file cleverly named web gpu how do you guys like that? So now you'll have all of these files here um, now when you try to run the software it should auto um, auto populate the you know the, the config file um, but if you have this config file, you can kind of just do it yourself. Um, so you can try and run the software first and have it auto populate for your GPUs. Uh, but if it doesn't, I'll show you guys how to add additional GPUs in this software. Because when I first started running this, I actually had a problem with one of my GPUs. It must have gotten unplugged just a little bit from my computer. I think my son was down there messing with things. So I was only running two GPUs and I was wondering why. Um, and it turns out um, after I had plugged it in and got it all running, this didn't re-auto populate. So you can delete the config file and redo it, but then you're gonna have to redo your public key and such. So first thing you wanna do um, is check out the donation level. I think the donation level on this software is uh, set to 5%, if I'm not mistaken. So if you set it to one, there's a minimum of 3% donation level on this software. However, somebody told me uh, in one of my live streams the other day that version 1.3 has no uh, required donation. So if you can find that, go ahead and use that instead. However, uh, I don't have 1.3 and um, 
honestly, the 3% is really not a big deal to me. Uh, maybe one day I'll just switch over to it. But for now, let's just show you how to GPU mine, and then you guys can do whatever you want uh, afterwards. So set that to one, uh, because that's going to be the minimum. Uh, you might think setting it to one is going to, is going to give 1%, but the minimum is I think three. So it still, it still sets itself to three regardless. So you can put three or one either way. It's going to be the same thing. So, uh, another thing I want to show you is go all the way to the right here. I was using my mouse scroll wheel, which was very inefficient. And in your user here, uh, your, you have to put your public key. Whoops, it went all the way over on me. Um, in the user, you have to put your public key so that you can mine to your wallet. Again, you have to refer to my first video that I made on how to get that wallet. You just go to their website and all the links are in that and all the directions are in that video. So you haven't watched that, you should watch that first, the CPU mine, set all that up and then set up your GPU. Um, so again, you just put in your, oh, okay, it just keeps pushing over on me. Uh, you put in your public key there. Ah, uh, never, never stops. Uh, and your password is going to be your rig name. So if, you know, if you set up the CPU as just like, and you put your, your rig name as CPU, you can put your rig name uh, for this software as GPU so that you can see the difference in the mining pool that you connect to but you can put it whatever you want and name it whatever you want. Now, the URL when you first get this software is going to be for Theta Pool. And Theta Pool is a smaller pool, but they do have different options. They have options for uh, difficulty options for Celeron and Pentium. They have difficulty options for mid-range processors. And then they have difficulty options for a uh, for like Ryzen, like Threadrippers and i9s and stuff like that. So you can choose to mine on that pool if you want. However, in the CPU video, I set it up as a web chain mining pool, as this pool. So I like to see all of my rigs on one pool and that just makes it a little easier for me. And uh, I just like to see all my hash rate in one little spot. So. Uh, this is where you would put in your public chain, uh, your public key, excuse me, for uh, to look up your hash rate on this pool. Again, this will be in the description below. So once you actually get mining, you can put in your public key in here and see your rewards and see your hash rate and uh, see your rigs and stuff like that. Uh, let me just show you this real quick. And this is the help page on the web chain network, okay, on the pool. So normally the difficulty is 20,000. Uh, and as you can see here, I put in this pool. So if you just copy what I put in here, pool.webchain, and uh, that's um, that's getting annoying pretty quick. <laughs> but pool.webchain.network, um, and the port is 3333. So if you want to mine on the lower difficulty pool on this particular pool, uh, you just put in 2222 is the port instead of 3333. So easy enough there. So I like to mine on this pool, but if you want to keep it on Theta Pool, that's fine. But you should also put your CPU on Theta Pool as well. It, that just helps me keep track of it when I'm on the same pool with, with all my rigs. But it's up to you how you want to do that. But I recommend this pool. Uh, Theta Pool is okay as well. So now let me show you uh, this this thread here. So as you can see here, you have a bracket and then a wacky bracket and then uh, a little space that says index zero. Uh, so that is your GPU. So index zero is your first GPU and index one is your second GPU and then index two is your third GPU and so on. So if you only have a couple indexes, it's only going to run the first two GPUs. If you only have one index, it's only going to run one GPU. So if you have four GPUs, you should have that amount of indexes. And as you can see on the end here, you need another wacky bracket and then a bracket and then a comma. So if you wanna just copy and paste your, your indexes and slap them in there, you need to make sure that you put the end like this or it won't work so well. So you can't just copy and paste and then just let it go. You have to begin it like this and then end it, uh, excuse me, all the way over here like, like the beginning 
except with a comma on the end. So you have to watch out for that. So now your threads and your blocks uh, determine, you know, how much power like the GPU is sort of using in the threads and blocks. Um, and you can mess with these numbers if you want. Um, and sometimes you can optimize your graphics card doing that. I had a few people suggest to use this thread and that thread. I even went to XM Rig, uh, their uh, like their forums, and it was showing like what the recommended threads and blocks are for each different graphics card. And I tried those recommended threads, and it turned out that after about a couple minutes of mining, it would just crash. So instead, I just used what it just sort of auto-populated, and it works just fine for me. Otherwise, anything else that I used did not work. So that's up to you how you want to go about doing that. Uh, so once you get mining, um, once you get that config file, you just click on this, and it will run and start mining, and that is it. Now, I would show you bringing this up, <clears throat> excuse me, I would show you bringing this up and show my, my hash rate and me mining, the problem is, is Kryptonite kind of bricks your GPUs, and I'm currently uh, recording on this computer. And if I bring that up while I'm recording, it's going to brick my uh, software, and um, it's going to end the recording for me. So I can't do that, otherwise I would show you. So once you have this all set up and you click on loud webchain dot, uh, or NVIDIA, it's going to work. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this, this entire config file, and I'm going to put it in the description below. So you can take this config file and, uh, you know, you can copy mine into yours. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to be the most efficient for you. Uh, these do auto-populate uh, when you, when you uh, click Loud Miner, and you can choose to, um, you know, manipulate them however you want to. But uh, so I don't recommend just using exactly mine, but it's going to give you a, a good uh a good template to go off of if that's what you want but it's going to be in there just in case you need it i don't recommend getting it and slapping it in yours because my uh indexes and threads and, and gps are going to be different from yours and it might not work as optimally for you but just as a as a nice uh reference for you just in case you want to check out uh, how you put these additional threads and gpus in there just in case you need to and if you want to look at the pool and stuff like that but that's all, and um, that that is it. So when you get to the mining pool, you just type in your address, and you'll be able to see uh, your hash rate. Um, I would like to talk about the coin for just a moment. Um, I talked about the coin mostly in the first video, as again, this will be in the in the description below as well. And uh, so I started mining uh, about this price, maybe uh, four tenths of a cent, maybe three tenths of a cent or so, and it's all the way up at one penny. <clears throat> which is pretty incredible growth. Now, there may be dips and pauses in between, but when I started mining, the market cap was about 200 and some thousand dollars. Now it's $528,000. Uh, when I first started mining, the volume was only $4,100 a uh, in a 24-hour period, and I actually show you that in this video so you can see the market cap and the, and the volume uh, previously and how it has grown. So $18,000, you know, $19,000 is really not a lot at the moment, but that just goes to show that you're going to be able to mine this coin very, very quickly and get on it before the price explodes. And that's what you have to do in crypto. Um, everybody knows that by now. If you would have gotten on Bitcoin in 2009 and mined the hell out of it, you would be making a lot of money today. Um, and the same thing with this coin. You need to get on it now and start mining it, start buying it now uh, before it goes way up in price. And if you miss it, uh, there may be other coins, but uh, I'm just trying to show everybody how to mine this coin and um, trying to give you guys a heads up. But uh, that's all I have for you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, put them in the comments below. Feel free to help each other out with uh, each other's comments and problems. Um, and I thank Loud, uh, Loud Mining for the, uh, for the software and stuff, for the GPU. Uh, he comments on my channel from time to time. So thank you for that. And thank you for the developers of WebChain as well for making the coin. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time.